What the fuck? Hi there, and welcome to the newest entry into the- <gasps> Have you ever felt like having a daughter, but not having a horrible wrench of a woman to piss you off, make your life a living hell, by constantly asking you about the wage gap? Do you enjoy taking care of someone else's daughter? Are you mentally challenged? If so, then Life with a Slave, Teaching Feeling, is the game for you. Teaching Feeling is a game as much as Telltale games are considered video games, except in Teaching Feeling, your actions actually do something. You play as a local town doctor. Immediately, after about 5 seconds of narration, you are visited by a humble merchant and explains that you saved his life some time ago and now wants to repay you. Being a rabbi himself, he has close connections to child pedophilia rings and offers you the latest throwaway in the business. Of course, being a fellow member of the chosen people, he gives her to you. For a price. You pay your greatest ally to fuck off and get the girl. After all, leaving a girl in his care wouldn't be the wisest decision. And from here on, Sylvie starts her life with you. You can immediately start head padding her and disregard your medical duties for good. Here's something that you need to understand. If you are playing this, then there's a high chance that you are a virgin and completely hopeless and have no idea on how to make a girl fall in love with you. Fear not, just head pad her. The way to a girl's heart is through her obnoxiously thick skull. If you approach a girl, start head padding her immediately, close off all escape routes, tie her to a chair if you must, just make sure that all her escapes are impossible, and just keep head padding her for the entire day. At first, she will be confused and not really understand the situation that she's in. Or why are you head patting her the entire day when there's a patient dying right next to her in the other room? But give her a month and she will treasure them and beg constantly for more. She will become dependent on them, living exclusively to receive them. She will cherish them. At this point, the process is complete and you have already won. And that's pretty much it. The entire game is centered around Sylvie growing to like you and eventually live her horrible past as she grows more and more fond of you, with a wide array of options to pick. It's all about giving this broken little thing some love, of which you will give many. Or just choke her out. That said, keeping a record of your slave is not an easy task. You have to constantly check up on her, noting every time she came inside and outside the house, how many facial makeup has she done for her injuries, how many times she brushed her teeth, and how many times she swallowed the toothpaste like a dump, as well as how many times she menstruated, how many flowers she has, and make sure she's clear of any drugs or alcohol. Already an alcoholic, huh? They start off young. 
ignore the sex thing, it just means how many genders she identifies as. It's the 2018, buddy. And if you don't have over 10 genders, you're just a bigot. To help facilitate, you have a wide amount of options on how to interact with her. You can take her outside, buy her clothes at the earliest shop, and pet her too. Take her to a cafe or take her on a stroll through the forest. Don't forget to pick up flowers, she loves them. Pink flowers make her exceptionally happy, so be on the lookout for those. Sylvie does pay you back though. She will relieve you of many burdens, such as house cleaning, even learning how to make tea, and even breakfast for you. She will also work as a nurse whenever you need to actually do some work. And if you leave on your own, she will keep a close eye on anyone who attempts to get close to your house. Leaving her at home creates other options, allowing you to buy wine from your Jewish friend, let you bring back a nice treat for Sylvie at home from the restaurant, just make sure not to bring anything with too much cream on it. She wasn't taught on how to eat properly and ends up making a complete mess of herself. You can also visit Aurelia's shop at night where she sells other items that might take your fancy like... This is a hentai game. The writing is nice, I guess, I can really appreciate it, I mean, this is fan translated, so I guess they did a good job, I oh, don't know, I can't read, moons, the art style is great, I mean, this guy has created a perfect rendition of the fuck me eyes, it's almost award winning I suppose, I can post my copy of the game in the description, although it's not really that hard to find, so if you want it just hit me up. Creator is a nice guy, he keeps updating it and adding more stuff. Sylvie has some animations in the newest version, and he's working on more. He's an alright lad. Take my word for it, try it out. Trust me, you'll go in for a quickie, but Sylvie will keep you coming back for her. In the end, the one who was being taught how to feel was you. Sylvie exists to remind us that maybe not every woman out there is out for our alimony. And that maybe one day, we'll have our own Sylvie. And that the police isn't right out my door. Did you get yourselves a nice yummy pizza? I don't, I don't you wanna want go to spend a night with some blacks? In a black room? With black people? You like black people? No, you don't! Anyway, play it, have fun, and remember, sandwiches are the food of the devil.